We'd had a little trip to New York planned in early December for quite some time. We tried the ex Dublin route, which was uh, interesting, and I'm sure there'll be a whole video coming up about that. But this is more about the return journey, as as we flew back out of JFK to London Heathrow, we'd actually shifted to Terminal 8. New experience of BA, so I thought I'd just capture some content and get it out in a timely manner. So hopefully you can enjoy. So BA's recently moved terminals at JFK from Terminal 7 over to Terminal 8, which they share with American Airlines. The first class and business check-in is sort of pretty much as you come up the ramp to the airport, it's either in the first or second door. And then the first class check-in area is immediately on the right hand side, just where you can see those people gathered now. That's for first class passengers and also BA gold card holders. Slightly to the left of that is the business class check-in with an economy and premium economy further left still. Quite a nice set out, quite well divided that seems to manage the flow of people quite nicely. And then at the far end of the terminal is where you go through the security channels. They all kind of bring you out in a similar sort of area, although there is a priority check-in lane um, and a TSA pre-approved at the other end. This bit did seem a bit discombobulated, but actually um, we were lucky enough to go through the first class line and uh, got through relatively quickly. As I said, there is a special check-in area, just a little bit of footage here now. Really nice set out, a really personal touch, uh, excellent service, really, really impressed. And then because we were gold card holders, we actually got access into the Soho Lounge, which I think is um, American Airlines first class lounge. Uh, it's not the top level of lounge here, there is another one, um, but we weren't flying first, so we didn't, didn't manage to get into that. This lounge, uh, I have to say, really, really impressed with it. Super fresh, felt really new. Level of service was excellent. Um, for American lounge, it's actually really nicely spread out. Really good decor. I have to say, probably the uh, the nicest lounge I've been in in America. And I probably would include the old Concord lounge from JFK Terminal 7 in that as well. Um, yeah, huge, loads of space. A uh, bit of functional areas for business eating bar area or just general casualness um re really nice lounge really enjoyed the time there mixture of foods available so you've got a, a salady cold buffet and warm buffet available food was really fresh changed really regularly um, really impressed with the service uh, but equally if you wanted a bit more of a formal meal you could sit down and order off the a la carte menu delivered to the table uh, because we had a night flight we just had a, a few light bites to eat but really impressed with the food as well it kind of keeps in the uh, the ethos of the lounge of a really decent lounge it's really well thought out and really well delivered For those familiar with the channel, you know I've often moaned at BA's lounge toilets. No such case in this lounge, really nicely done, uh, feels nice and clean. And yes, I did check that there was no one in the toilets before filming. So after about an enjoyable 90 minutes in the lounge, it was time to board our Club World flight back to Heathrow and connect through to Dublin. But equally, I'll talk about that in another video just to kind of elaborate on that experience. Overall, the move from Terminal 7 to Terminal 8 seems like quite a good step for BA, uh, suitably impressed. Thanks ever so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. Thanks and see you soon.